Called in by Curry. Golden State has gone 0 for 3 from downtown. Step back and fire. Pulled the shot a little left. The bounce goes his way, though. Boy, that's unfair. Curry hitting those pull-ups. Beal with it. And Looney picks him up defensively. And then Beal with the dunk. And one move ahead of the defense. A solid pick. And then the monster dunk to complete the play. Well done. Well, like it was a home game. And that's out of bounds. It was last touched by Kuminga. For three, Gordon. Oh, he got it up in time, but it wouldn't fall for him. And so it's Phoenix. They have a nice nine-point cushion at the end of the quarter. Just pounding the painted area. That's helped them build an advantage. And don't go far. We'll be right back. to be the worst player in meaningless games I've ever seen. But I found a love again, and I'm just enjoying playing basketball. Brian? Hey, it shows, Allie. Thank you. Their interior D continues to look shaky. Not a good matchup for them right now. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. Just an ugly show from him offensively. Yep, no way to describe it. Just ugly, and that hasn't helped. Oh, wasted no time on that one. But Kogi's got order about three minutes gone by. And he continues to cast away. But the results just haven't been there tonight. Here's Watanabe. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Looney's got six rebounds now in the game. Curry from deep three-point land. The three-pointer off the mark. Okay, so if I were to say this was a disaster of a period for him, it would be an understatement. But hey, sometimes you got to shoot your way out of the slump, even for him. And the basket by Lee. He can... On the wing, Thompson. Boy, no scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. We all know Clay can hit this. His accuracy from the mid-range is a reliable option, to say the least. Here's Bull. Nine-point game. And he jams it home with authority. Woo! <laughs> B.A., that's lit. Ferocious all the way. Man, that was good the rim so on the floor for golden state the core of the dynasty all on the floor curry and clay the guards with draymond up front at the four andrew wiggins is out there with kevon looney so impressed with that bucket by aiden fantastic body control from the big man what you have to admire about devin booker is how much he scores the rock as well as all the different ways he's able to finish and what an aggressive move to the rim. He's really trying to fire up his teammates. Or a teammate makes that kind of finish. And that could be the spark they needed to make a little run as they try to even this thing up. Now here's Curry. Six points for him. Pass to Green from behind the arc. The Suns clear it. Aiden's got ten rebounds here tonight. So active. And Booker is a guy you can lean on to help shoulder the offensive load, Richard. Yeah, he's comfortable taking a lot of shots for his team. He's a volume shooter for a reason, because he understands how to score and rank third all time. And the Warriors making a change here. Kuminga's checked in. And we're just about two minutes into the second half now. Back to Looney. Pass to Curry. And he's going for the oop here. Stolen away. Nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt. Here's Okogi. Outside Booker. Launches it. That one's in there on the nice assist from Beal. Lakers for total championships, each with 17. But their ambition from the top down is to do exactly that. They want to be, in their own words, the greatest organization on earth. Definitely playing the long game. Let's check in with our reporter, Allie LaForce. Well, the league and the world have endured tremendous challenges in recent years. Commissioner Silver said, quote, We found a way to keep going under very difficult circumstances. It required enormous diligence to keep playing throughout the to keep playing throughout the pandemic, we are particularly proud of that. Brian? Hey, the show must go on. Thanks, Allie. Now here's Curry. Six points for him. Looney finds Curry to win the drought. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. Okogie's got four rebounds in the game. He's giving his all, but you can't force yourself back on track. They're making it look easy out there, just having fun. Man, their offense is clicking. Players, coaches, everybody, they are... Now here's Wiggins. 
Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. From eight feet away. The shot won't fall. Looney with some nice D. Here's Paul. No good. A bit long that time. It's obvious they're becoming frustrated. Nothing seems to be going their way. In a major drought, you need to find some sort of momentum. This defense. Beal against Paul. And he lobs it up to the rim. And an emphatic jam on the lob. Sharp find by Paul. One of the best passers of all time. And the Suns with possession. They're on a 20-4 run. For three, Booker. And the Suns get another three. Homing around the perimeter, ready to fire. Peyton, no good. Beal with it. Ten points for him. Well, there's so much worldwide talent in basketball right now. Teams have scouts in every corner of the globe, RJ. Yeah, you have so much talent around this league, and you only have to go back a few years when you had every single postseason award was won by uh, an international player. You had Pascal Siakam, Rudy Gobert. From the arc, Phoenix grabs the miss. kogi has got six rebounds here tonight. They've shown the power inside. Their rebounding effort has been sensational. And the NBA last season introducing a 100-camera system that allows for a video game-like presentation with virtual angles. It's pretty cool. Video games used to chase the league. Now the league's kind of chasing the video games. Yeah, well, this is where the future is heading. It is so cool to see. Yeah, well, this is where the future is heading. It is so cool to see all the different angles that you can now see a basketball game from. That's what makes it fun. That's what makes it exciting. And the NBA, they're doing the right thing. And I know scouting departments are using them as evaluation tools as well. Oh, they're always going to figure out a way to scout more and to evaluate more because it helps them when they're negotiating players' contracts. Ooh, took them no time at all to get that one. Their strategy has been pretty... Warriors have gotten just one shot to fall out of three attempts in the fourth. Let's it go from 14. Lamb, that's good. Lamb's got four points this quarter. That's more than enough space for him to get that shot up. Gordon attacking. Here's Bull, and he goes in for the dunk. Oh, nothing soft about that. Was not going to be denied. Just took the dunk that was right in front of him. And that's his MOB physical gift class. Kaminga has done well in the league, Richard. What I like is how he's capitalized on his minutes. Any chance he gets to shine, he works hard to make the most of it. That's the kind of dedication that is invaluable in a young guy. Grant, when you see players make that leap from star to superstar, think about guys like Giannis and Jason Tatum. I mean, what is that step like? You did it. Well, it's interesting. You know, you come into the league and, and, and you have success right away. But it... Outside for Lamb. Up and over Gordon. The shot by Lamb. No good. I guess we can credit the defense for that one going wide. They did everything they could to influence the shot. And the Warriors pushing it up now. The kick out to Wiggins. Fires from deep. No luck on that one. They've got a commanding lead. It just seems like everything is going their way. It's safe to say they have dominated this game. The game wasn't even as close as the score says. Breakthrough. See if you can get an easy opportunity. Las Vegas again missing. I guess even he has to miss one of those once in a while. Brunson against Ball. Brunson, good. Just setting the tone with an aggressive move to the rag. And, and where's the help defensively? To me, that's a complete lack of communication on that side of the ball. These guys need to be talking to each other. For quite some time, which is surprising when you consider this big market and, and the status this franchise has within the city. That one falls, so he hits both of them. Las Vegas has gone one of five from downtown in the first quarter. Points out there have been hard to come by. And count it. The shot is good. He'll go to the free throw line. Yeah, Terry Rozier able to score in a variety of ways. That time taking the contact, getting... He showed just how forceful that block was. 
And boy, did he get up quick to reject that shot. That's as fundamental as defense gets. And it's Rozier missing. Yeah, they got that one. But early on, it's, it's really been a struggle for them to secure that defensive back rule. And so it's Ball with it. He brings it up for the Hornets. Out to Miller. Let's the three fly. It's good. The assist that time from Ball. Let's the three fly. It's good. The assist that time from Ball. Miller's got five now. If you leave a teammate of LaMelo Ball that wide open, I promise you, he will find it. Took him no time at all on that one. And guys getting into a nice groove here, starting to feel it. And this is partly what the game has become, right? A matter of dueling three-point opportunities. Two-second difference between shot clock and game clock. Sinks the triple. Rendering the long-range shot here early on. Yeah, and in addition, their ball movement has really unleashed their offense. Boy, they've been fun to watch. Setting the floor for the Hornets. We've got Williams. Miller is out there with Washington. Then there's Terry Rozier. And it's Smith in at the point guard position. Getting the latest now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Thanks very much, guys. Growing up, Mitchell Robinson didn't play basketball. Nine. Well, the touch and the focus. What a pretty move in the lane. There's the pick. It's stolen by Randall. Pass to Brunson. Miller grabs the miss. The Hornets have gone two or three from the field here to open the second quarter. Smith the pass to Thor. From downtown, a three-pointer is right on target. Thor. At the elbow, Smith, six on the shot clock. And the rebound goes to the Knicks. Randall's got rebound number seven for him tonight. Josh Hart won't always have his shot falling, but the hustle is there. And a great energy guy with major impact on the floor. Miller kicks to Rozier. Some nice passing by Las Vegas here. Shots good by Thor. Well, the evolution of this period, it is the very definition of ice cold. Here's Barrett, and he makes good on the layup. Now, just a five-point Hornets lead. R.J. Barrett entered the league with confidence and an ability to get off the dribble drive. Nicely done. Here's Richards, and that one is stuffed right through. How about the big guy attacking the rim? The throwdowns are loud and emphatic. And so it's Ball who brings the ball up for the Hornets. Six-point lead. They get to take on the Magic at Orlando after this one. That'll be the last game of their very short three-game road tour. The forward spots will be Barrett and Randall. Jalen Brunson out there with Josh Hart. And it's Robinson in at the five spot. That's the five for New York right now. Both shots good from the strike. Knicks on offense. Randall outside. Unable to get that one. And it's Las Vegas the other way. Here's Ball outside Martin. Hayward dishes to Martin. Hayward passes to Martin. Ball from long range. It's good from long range. First free throw of the game. In their last contest, guys, he was unconscious from the foul line. Last year, as we know, the NBA, Doris, named the members of the 75th anniversary team. Any players that were missed that you think should have been on that list? I mean, the one guy that comes to mind immediately is Clay Thompson, who will go down as one of the great shooters in NBA history. The problem for voters, I think, is the challenge of weighing the accomplishments of prior generations with what... Checked in. Robinson down low, working on Williams. Ball's knocked loose, and here's Las Vegas. They're on a 14-5 run here. Outside for Martin. Some nice passing by Las Vegas here. Hayward from outside. The basket is good off the assist from Williams. Mistakes can kill us. This is where mistakes can turn this thing completely around. 
protect the basketball, and make the simple play. In other words, guys, no hero ball right now. Thank you, David. A moment now to see how the schedule is looking for Las Vegas. On Friday, they'll go up against the Magic in Orlando. And then on Saturday, they'll be taking on Clay Thompson and the Golden State Warriors. And so he hits both to tie it up. And that's two points on the way. Randall's got the game tied up here for the Knicks. Julius Randall under tremendous pressure with the big bucket. There's the screen. Washington trying to break free. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. It's on Mitchell Robinson. So the first one drops, and that gives them the lead. But guys, you know this. The team counts on LaBello ball right here. And it's ball penetrating over in the corner, Rogier. One-on-one -on -one fast break from 13. It's rebounded by Las Vegas. Right side, ball. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Well, the handle that Lamelo Ball possesses allows him to drive it with authority. You love that he draws contact there. And so he, he drops the first one, and that brings them within five. Both free throws, good from Randall. And we've talked about Randall becoming a leader. Now taking charge and wanting to deliver at the line. And now they decide to foul intentionally. Good on the first, and that puts them up by five. Second one is good. Extending the lead. Simple basketball. It's nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. Randall with a screen for Hart. Outside for Randall. A three-pointer, no good. Well, another Tim Cup moment here because he continues to miss shot after shot from three-point range. This is not a fourth quarter he's going to want to remember. 